Hello again and welcome to the fifth uh, CSS and HTML video tutorial here at beginnertask.com. This video is going to be a mix of HTML and CSS, so if you haven't seen the first HTML and CSS videos, then please go back and watch these, uh, otherwise you won't be able to uh, understand this video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make div tags in HTML and then style them with CSS in order to make a simple website layout. So as in all other uh, CSS video tutorials, I have made a CSS style sheet which I have linked to my HTML page. Okay, so I would like to make a layout. My layout should consist of a wrapper div, a header div, a menu div and a content div. I will start out by making the wrapper div. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna type in div because that's the tag for a div. Then we're gonna add an ID. I'm just gonna call this wrapper. Like that. Then I'm not gonna close it right away because I want my header div and my menu div and my content div to be within my wrapper div. So I'm gonna go down here and close it like that. So now I have made a wrapper div which is going to contain a header div, menu div and content div. I've added an id tag called wrapper. So now I'm gonna go into my style sheet and make a style for this wrapper. And as you probably remember from previous videos, in order to make a special styling uh, for a table or a div tag, you need to first use the number sign like that and then type in the special styling name and that was wrapper like that. And then I'm gonna use the curly brackets. First I'm gonna specify a width. Um, I want it to be 700 pixel. End it with a semicolon. And the height should be 1000 pixel. And because I want the, the wrapper div to be placed in the middle of the page, I will use um, the properties called margin left. And I set that to auto. And I will also do that with margin right. Like that. This way the wrapper div will be placed in the middle of the page because it is set to automatically create an equal amount of margin uh, on both sides of the wrapper div. And to be able to see this wrapper div, I'm just gonna add some border properties. I'll add a border style like that and this should be solid and a border width. Thin. And I'm just gonna correct this one like that. Now let's try viewing our HTML document in the browser. And as you can see we have now created a div which is 700 pixel wide and 1000 pixel um, high and it is placed in the middle because we have set the margins to auto. Now I then want to add my heading div. So I'm going to go into my HTML document again. In here I'll go down here and type div again. And I'll again add an ID tag. And this time it's going to be called header. And I'm going to close it right away. Then I'm going to jump into my style sheet. And in here I'm going to create a style for this header div. So I'm going to make that icon again. I'm going to type in header and make the curly brackets. And I'm just going to reuse what we got from up here. Um, the width shouldn't be 700. This time it's going to be 600. The height should only be 100 pixel. Um, we would also like it to be placed in the middle of the wrapper div. So I'm just going to leave the margin, uh, margin left, margin right uh, to auto. And the border style is solid. Uh, bottom width thin fine and we'll also like to add a background color uh, and that should be gray like that so let's try viewing this in the browser and as you can see we have now created a header div which is located inside of the wrapper div it is located right in the middle um, it is 100 pixel high and 600 pixel uh, wide and it has a gray background color so let's try making the menu div. This time I'm gonna go down here, type in div again and an ID and let's just call that menu and close it like that. I'm just gonna go into my div tag and type this is the menu 
so that you will be able to see um, how you can enter content in a div. So this is div content, but you will see that when we view it in the browser. Then we're going to go back into our style sheet. And again, I'm just going to copy this. We're going to make a style for our menu. This time the width should only be 100. The height should be 600. And this time we don't want it to be placed in the middle. So I just gonna leave the margin left and it's not gonna be auto. I want it to be 50 pixel margin like that. And the border style is fine. However, we don't want a background color, so I'm just going to delete that one. And then I'm going to add another property called float, because we want this menu to float left inside of the wrapper div. So I'm going to type in left and end it with a semicolon. So let's view this in the browser. And as you can see, we have now created the menu div. It is 100 pixel wide and 600 pixel high. We have a margin out here of 50 pixel and it floats left inside of the wrapper div. And this up here is the content in the div. You can put anything you want as a content. You can put pictures, tables, whatever. But I have just typed in uh, a simple piece of text. Finally, we now want to add our content div. So I'm just going to jump into my HTML document again. And I'm going to go down here and type in div again an ID let's call it content and I'm just gonna close it and write this is content inside of the div and then let's move into the style sheet here I'm gonna copy this one and call that content this time I want it to be 500 pixels wide 600 pixel high, that's fine. This time I don't want a margin on the left, I want a margin on the right. It's be 50 pixel. And we want it to float right this time. We want it to be in the right side of the wrapper div. Like that. Actually 500 pixel is a bit too much, so I'm just gonna change this to 475 pixels. Now let's view this in the browser. And there we have it, our content div. It is 475 pixel wide and 600 pixel high. It floats to the right in our wrapper div and this is the content of our content div. So now I have pretty much made a very simple uh, website layout. Uh, you can use this if you go to beginnertest.com you can copy it. Other than that I think this was it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions please visit beginnertest.com. Thanks for watching. See you soon.